Hey guys, what's up, Homie here? I wanted to make a video uh, just kind of showing how I start off a solo game of Shadows of Evil. Um, there's been a lot of comments pretty much all across the internet saying how difficult Shadows can be. And it is a difficult map, and there's a bunch you need to do to really get going. You know, unlocking the pack of punch doing the four rituals, getting the rocket shield. Um, the later steps with the Easter egg and the swords and everything, I mean, it's not necessary right away. Um, you can learn that slower as you go. Uh, take your time on that. But the pack of punch the rocket shield, you know, getting the, uh, the downstairs area ritual opened up with the pack of punch and the widow's wine are all things that are really going to help you. Especially if you can memorize them and get them done on yourself. Uh, but I'm gonna just wanted to show you how I do it here. So let's get into it. Show you how to do everything from a live perspective. There's a lot of videos on YouTube where it's all cut up. Some of these rocket shield videos are like a minute long. You don't really get a sense of where the items are in the map. So I'm gonna do this straight from beginning to end. Uh, at I'm not going to cut the video at all or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So let's get into this. First thing you want to do is spend your 500 bucks and come over here and open. It's going to leave you with nothing, obviously, but it's going to help you get this first part open. Here is the beast mode. It's going to be a big part of opening up all this map, getting uh, the rituals you... open, okay. you, you don't turning on okay. all the perk machines, and getting all the ritual parts and things like that pretty easy to use. It's pretty much like the ghosts on Mob of the Dead. This map being quite a bit like Mob of the Dead, I think. So go ahead and use your beast mode. First thing, break the door. Power your perk machine. Break the box. Power the crane. And you gotta do this kind of quick because you're usually low on time. You're gonna run over here and hurry up and power these stairs too. And that pretty much opens up everything you need for the first ritual. With each subsequent Power's quick revive I, too. I you always wanna buy that. With my tentacles. See if it gives you the spare change, it yeah, does. I'm not sure drinking that was the best idea. The summoning key needs to be picked up for all of the rituals. So anybody so can pick that up if you're in co-op, it'll work for everyone. But the person that actually picks up the part, which is what we got from the crane, which is the ballpoint pen for the magician, whoever picks this up in like a co-op game has to be the one to place it down. And every time you pick a piece up, it spawns these guys. It's only two of them, so you can just kill them pretty easily. Two shots and a knife there. Make sure you keep one on round one, you can get this done way easier if you do this at the end of rounds. Oh, she's running on round one. Fumigator. That's used to pop the pods that are around the map. You always want to wait till they're purple before you do that, though. So come up where you open the stairs. Place your summoning stone, your item down. Click it again, and it's going to start the ritual. I always think the best way is just to kind of run them around, not kill them. Um, if you're in a co-op game, the more people you have in here, the faster the ritual will go. It doesn't take too long in single player. In single player, you can pick up all of these gate worms. So I'll pick the first one up there. Now those will be used to open up the pack of punch area. But for now, we need to do three more rituals. But we have the first one here done on round one. And we're going to need some points, basically. It's been a long time since I made videos, guys. I've uh, been waiting on this game to come out for a long time now. I played a little bit of the Advanced Warfare, but I wasn't really into it. I'm glad Treyarch's back to making zombies. It's a really fun map. Can't wait to see what's coming. 
the Giants really fun for solo. Also a good co-op map that's just kind of boring, I guess. Where is the zombie? I'm gonna go ahead and kill the next zombie. Uh, it takes a thousand dollars to open all the door front the first doors and the second doors are usually twelve fifty. Sounds like it's up there we go. Cobble gums are very important. You know, I like to use them a lot. I'm not really going to use any this time because I think I have some of they my good ones coming. set up. They have already corrupted this world with their twisted malfeasance. You are chosen. You are your curse. Really, now we're just it's a matter of time. It's really just a time thing and points. Killing zombies. I thank the mysterious forces that have been to bless us. It's a really nice map. I really like the way it looks. Is this the last one? Got the last one over there. There might be two running around, I don't know. But now we have to open up these little segments of the map. I like to use the or get the first one open and have whichever one has jug in it. They are random every time. You can see which one's in that area by the broken perk bottle. Thousand bucks opens it. Let's turn into beast mode again. Spin around. Let's get Jug open by flipping up here, powering it on. We gotta go up in the stairs, powering it on. And we gotta run back and get as much of this done as we can. We gotta break the box, we gotta break the door, and try to get over here and power the door. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I missed it. Dang it. I'd done this back when I was performing, I brought the house down. Oh. Yeah, so it's going to take another beast mode, but I can probably open up the burlesque or the, uh, actually, I think that's not the burlesque, but I need 1250 to open that door, that's the problem. But, as soon as you open up the first area with a perk machine, you can come and find the part for the rocket shield. It'll either be in this area, typically, or on the bridge. Right there it is. I think it can also be up in this room. Well, we got Jug turned on, at least. We'll try to get that when we can. We also need to buy a gun. So once you do the second ritual, the first Margwa spawns on you. going here. Oh, that gave me enough, and there's another zombie. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Twelve fifty. I'll use this beast mode here to grapple up. Run in here to the bottom floor. Turn this power on for the stairs. Let me through. Jump down here and power this area up right here. And that should open up everything we need. Yeah. Alright, so run over and get the part again. Remember that the two little devourers things are gonna spawn or saviors or whatever the heck they're called. I always forget. Oh, this reminds me of what I did. Child, there we go. Let's run up here to the Hoover house and do the next ritual. There's one of the pods, but don't pop them until they're purple. They got really good stuff in them when they're purple. Man of War, 
bootlegger. Here's one of the Easter egg parts for the music Easter egg. All right, ritual number two. Each of you knows this place. What does it mean to you? Ready, go. Yes, I'm. I'm going to find my lawyer before answering that. Well, if you go down in the middle of this, you will have to start it over. So try not to, but it definitely happens. Help me! Number two. I remember we're gonna have a Margwa spawn, so grab that thing and get out of here. I don't have a good weapon, so this could be interesting. It'd be cool if he stays walking like that, mm -hmm. all chill mode. He's coming. He's a coming. No, we do have it. Come on, dude. Don't have jug yet either, so. Three heads, like Severus. Tentacles like an octopus. Ooh. Sebetopus. Yeah. Oh crap. You would definitely want to hit you without jug. And this is hard with a pistol. From when so Lead him around, lead him around. That's one more, one more. We cannot blame the stranger. Uh -oh. Oh, go, 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 go. There we go. Nice. Now we got some money too. Oh, the more hard. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's the first part of the wonder weapon, so you want to make sure you get that as quick as you can. It usually spawns from the first one. We do have a little bit of money. I could probably could go open up another area, but I need to buy a gun just in case. Nah, screw it. Let's go open another area. Let's keep going on this. I like to do double tap next. You can see the broken perk bottle. On this one, we're going to be opening up right there. Beast mode. Get the stairs. Jump up here. Take apart. Go, go, go. And then you can break open the ritual. Oh no. Dang it. Go, go, go. Open up the portal there. Everybody leaves you alone when you look like a monster. Well, I'm out of beast modes, so. I think I'm gonna buy a gun and not open the door. I guess what's over on the other side? I think it might be a Kuda also. <laughs> now there's the M8 back there, but. Yep. Oh, well. What sorcery is this? We'll rock this. We like the Cuda. Oh, I forgot about that gun, but ah, the MP. I use that too much. Not the giant. Alright, let's get this going here. Get some points together. Get the last two rituals done. Uh, real quick. Let's run back over to where we were. The waterfront district. And get that part for the rocket shield. It's important, important, important. Rocket shield is very important. And there they are, the tanks. Part number two. Oh, 
Only by invoking the become now she must did you kill ten zombies in storefronts that I just noticed yesterday, so I'm gonna try that while we're sitting here. Your world as it was is still here. I'm not sure if this one counts or not. Many of the souls who inhabited it have succumbed to the darkness. They are echoes of themselves, trapped in a fractured shadow of reality. Hey, hey, you out there! Whoever was talking to us a minute ago, can you at least tell us what the hell is going on? if they're both slow walkers like that. That seems to be it. Alright. Let's go finish opening up all this over here. Where are we at? Yeah, waterfront. Do need to get jugged, but it's only round three. Co-op, though, I would recommend getting Jug as soon as possible. Don't forget the part. Championship, Championship belt. belt. Gonna spawn the savior. Surely not. Why? Of ours. Twelve fifty for the door. The different and not in a good way. Now we need. We got everything we need. We just gotta open up the boxing rink. Just grab beast mode. Break the door. That's all you really need to do. So just back out if you want. I, mean, I think there are like. Where's the crate for the tentacle Full thing? Body transmogrification. Let's just go get the ritual done. Still got our zombie walker. But there's uh, a rift area in every spot you can open also, and also and. You know, the, the tentacle game. statues for the swords. There's one of those in each area also. And I think down in the, the rift. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Let's go upstairs. This is usually one of the easier ones, too. Just gotta get them all bunched up like they're a train of zombies. As long as you don't kill them, they won't be spawning all over the place. And if the ra if it's mid round, the zombies are going to be all up in here. So keep that in mind. Always do this at the end of the round. Go up, have someone hold a zombie, or have everyone in here with one zombie. Oh all right, that's the third one. Now we have the speed cola, speed cola area left. I will at least go open the first door and grab the part for the rocket shield and we'll get that built. Because I don't have Jug yet and that's really going to set my mind at ease a little bit. So we have three of the gate worms. Just one left. I usually get a gobble, gobble gum really early. Mm -hmm. When I'm playing, I'm not really going to do that this game, but I highly recommend using those. All right, that's where we're going to have to get up to. Pack up our uh, box up there to beast mode right here. Oh, I don't have one. Dang it! So I can't get the part. I didn't even realize that. Got to be up there. The part's up there. So let's head back out. Love the Bloodhound. It's so much power, more powerful than the pistol. Look at that! Magic some bullets out of thin air. 
you could pump a whole clip this in round three of that pistol on the giant. And oh, it was 1911. You have blood on your hands. It cannot be cleansed. Your sins have allowed others. Once again, we're just building points. What would you have it takes time, but we're only on round four. You can still get it done early. It just takes time. There's another one. Not sure if that one counts. Got two left here. We're gonna be short of beast mode though, because I don't think I can do all of that in one. Maybe not get the perk machine, but I could probably open the ritual and get the part. Yeah, let's just try to do that. Skip the perk machine for now. All right, the burlesque. That's what we're going to want to get to right there. There's a power spot on the back of that sign. Beast mode right here. Get up there as quick as we can. Come on, game. It doesn't like to grapple always. Electricity. Alright, now we got to get the part. Uh, probably a better way. But I don't know. Let's get the part at least. <laughs> Alright, I got everything we needed for the ritual. So. Reason to take that hideous, hideous Let's go ahead and do that. Remember the things are gonna spawn. They have killed maybe. No! Dang it. Oh, there's another one right there. Did he kill the other one, I guess? He must have. Alright. Let's go do this ritual. This one's a pretty easy one. So hopefully I won't go down. The Burlesque. More than any other place in this city, your paths have crossed the earth. Your sacrifice has been Let's watch out for those zombies. Other world beings a little faster than this. Two hours. It's quite a bit of room here, though. Even even having to go up onto the stairs, like they they give you a room. But this is why I don't kill them because it's just like training some zombies. People come in here and when I'm playing with randoms and they just start slaughtering all of them and they're spawning in all different directions. All right. Got that. Oh, oh, no. Don't kill me, please. Grab it. Dang it. Oh, crap. Uh, let's go ahead and just kill him real quick out here. We'll come back and get the gate arm. Damn, bitch. Uh, let's see how that works out. There we go. Perfect. Have we got any fire? Fire is easy. One down. I don't have a whole lot of ammo, so I gotta kinda be careful here. Wait till he's on the stretch ways. Two. Got a clipping. Almost two clips. Got him though. We should have him, we should have him, we should have him. There we go. Get some money from that too. Uh oh. Those things kill us. 
bomb. I don't want a bomb. Double points. Up oh, the round ended. I wish I could harness these most magic of spells. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and go and buy whatever on. I think. Oh man, yeah, yeah, I can buy Juggernaut. I need a gun too. A few more shots. That's all I've got. Buy ammo. Gotta get ammo at the end of this, but come on. Come on. I don't have jugs, so I gotta be careful. This is as close as you get. Try to keep one alive. I think that's the last one. Let me buy Jug before I freaking die. <laughs> Waiting for those purple pods, because this also has the, one of the parts of the wonder weapon in it. Is nowhere safe. It's also, they also spawn guns like crazy. This will be a free upgrade for my pistol if I can just wait. Alright. Since I'm here real quick, I just want to open everything up. Shield. Take that hideous, hideous form. Maybe right around here somewhere. Thank you. It's there a lot. It's typically right where it was just now. I don't want to say always, but I think pretty much always it is right there. Stamina up right there too in the very beginning junction area. I don't typically run with it, so I usually forget to even power it up. Civil Protector Unit. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright, what we need to do is go grab the Gateworm. I was all the way over in that area and completely forgot. Take the Gateworm down to the Rift and get Pack-a-Punch open. Then we'll build a Rocket Shield and that'll probably pretty much be the end of this video. You can see I've got it's round five. I got jug. I got quick revive. I got a decent weapon. We got all four rituals done. It's not that bad, guys. I haven't went down. There were a few close moments inside a couple of the rituals where I was red. But if you buy that quick revive early, I mean, it sucks to lose one early like that, but that's what they're there for. Mm -hmm. Let's get down into the ritual. First time you're down here, these things will spawn. Four or five of them. Oh, no! Dang it. I didn't mean to kill that guy. Well, looks like we're gonna have to go around. Why did you kill? Looks like I got jug. An accident. But let's try a veil over the matter. Well, I'm down here too. Let's see if I get some my beast mode back. This is where Widow's Wine is. This is where Mule Kick is. Uh, hit your beast mode here and come over and open up Widow's Wine. I recommend using that on solo play at least. Uh, Mule Kick is the next floor up, and the next floor up is that door that will open you back up into the junction. It's very nice to have open. Opens up this area quite a bit. 
And it's nice to be able to run through here if you need to. I'm trying to get away from something. It could be pretty easy to run down here. The Margwas can kind of screw you up, but that's just going to be a problem anywhere. It's pretty open down here. I like canal area too. I would recommend buying double tap next, uh, just just because of how better it makes every weapon. Even your pistols and single shot weapons. Bloodhound. It's still really effective with headshots at round six. Can you believe that? No double tap yet. No nothing. You gotta hit him though. Oh my! You really have made a mess. Careful. I think that's the last two there. So basically, before you do the rituals, there's a wall here. It's got five different patterns on it. But once you do the rituals, they light up. And you're able to walk through here. Back there is where Pack-A-Punch will be. This is uh, one last ritual you'll have to do when you place all these worms. These little skunks here. You want to put your gate worms in each. You can't get to the two that are over there until you place the two that are over here. Because it fills in the wall for the wall run. People have said the walls can glitch out a little bit. You can die trying to jump on the walls. I've never had any problems, but I'm sure it can happen. Even if it's not a glitch and them just messing up. Well, let's make sure I try not to do that here. You know, just kind of run at them. It's just like multiplayer. Put the last two in here and it'll fill in a bridge for that. Place for everything. Everything in its place, even place And you can't everything. just and fall off here. You have to jump. Even just remember that. Word. One last ritual. And I'll finally have pack a punch. But it's round six. I mean it could be worse. Pack a punch by round six is not bad, even though it may have took a little bit longer than it would normally take to get to round six. At this point you can just start buckling down, buying your perks, start upgrading your weapons. Your service to the overlords is appreciated. Our complete Pack a punch! Will now oh, I should have packed a punch proceed. to blow down. No, give it to me. Thank you. Alright, let's go build the rocket shield. And we will be done with this video. I like to build it out in canal just because it's pretty easy to get to out there. There's a lot of long straightaways. I don't have any of these open. Oh. Yep, I forgot. One of those spawns after that. Maybe two of them. A reason to go build the rocket shield. Oh, wrong way. Kill it! Kill it! Have we got any fire? Fire? Easy, kill Steve. I wish the thing ran as fast as the zombies do. Easy street. Perhaps we should direct our fire towards its heads. The brain has to be in one of them. Freaking oh, upgraded weapon for Christ's sake. Best tactic at this juncture. Back here by the. We cannot blame this creature for its own foul nature. Back by the Ruby Rabbit, right? It's right here. The build's right here. Uh 
Let me kill this guy real quick. Yeah. Kill it! Kill it! Have you got any fire? Fire usually kills these. One more time. Kidding me. Whoa, that was close. I can't believe I didn't kill it. There we go. All right. Zombie shield. Grab it. I recommend leave it on your back. I'm sure y'all know how to use it. You can do this with it and stuff. Oh! But I definitely recommend just leaving it on your back. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I know it's a bit of a long video, but I hope you at least learned something by actually seeing me go to all the different places, do the, all, the, all the things firsthand. No cutting, no editing. But that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you on the next one.